What's up, it's your boy Anecdotal, and today we're gonna do the Astro Globe of Fates. 100 pulls with that thing, boy. So, we're gonna try to get Hanzo, the new ninja, doing his thing, as always. And then, the, and secondarily, we're, we're also gonna try to get Aponia. But, see, I'm not sure which one I wanna go to, like, get higher in value. So, I could go hard on Aponia, or I can go all in on Hanzo. The reason being is that their event is still up. Since they're both the newest characters, you can get something if you get them. And of course, I'm gonna go with Oda Nobunaga because he's just too cool for school. You gotta go with the meta. Well, at least when it comes to URs like that because, you know, they're just they're just not doing it at, at the lower rarities. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, it looks like, you know, the higher you go, the better the rewards. But then you're gonna need multiple copies of that unit to end up getting those rewards, but the rewards do seem kind of worthwhile at least. So I don't know. I mean, look at this. We, we could get these like totem, totem map things. And wow, you could even get the, the chat thing. Useless, but hey, I, I don't see people with chats. All right, so yeah, we're gonna go ahead and do it like this. And I think we're gonna stick to, to Hanzo, probably. Yeah, and while we do that, of course, we get these little talisman things. Are they called talismans? I'm going to say they are. And you can use them once you get 520, so you can get the max rewards along with the artifact. You already know the deal. So let's go ahead and see how we do. A. Eh? Not, not the great. <laughs> not the greatest. This is why you don't spend gems, guys. You don't use your gems here. Because rewards like that make you want to find just the lowest the lowest basement that you can find. Crawl under there and just be sad. But look at this. Easy Hanzo right here, so boy. This just really reminds me of Ninja Gaiden. It, it really does. And then you got the huge four, four-sided, four-bladed kunai. Is that what you, wait, are, are kunais usually four? I think they are. Comment that down below. Not 100% sure. And then we got some SR fodder. Cool, cool, cool. Again, that wasn't the greatest, but let's see what we get here. Bo oh no, I hate these, man. Okay, they are SSR specific fragments. Very annoying. Ooh boy, Inherited Divinity. I feel like I will always need this. Even now, I have three other characters I need to work on. Aside from my UR characters that I want. That I want. One of them is a set. I want to start working on Apollo. And I don't even think I finished Morgan. <laughs> so I, I need so much Inherited Divinity. And this is not counting whatever new UR comes out in the future. Or whatever new SS, SSSR. SSR. There you go. Double SR comes out in the future. That's going to be meta. Oh, by the way. As far as these guys go. As far as Ninja Hanzo goes. And sort of the cutthroat Aponia. I feel like they basically do the same things. They're all a version of, of Susano. Oh, Oh, the, you already know. You see, you see the signs. You see the Japanese-ness of it all. You see the samurai. Yeah, the one. The only. Oda Nobunaga! Gotta love it, bro. Gotta love it. So, yeah, the, I don't know how many, when you convert this, would go into gems. And if it might be worthwhile to go into the astrobe of Fate so that you could actually get a UR character like I don't know if the percentages are that much higher actually percentages should be displayed somewhere so so there should be a way to tell and you get to choose the one that you want right you don't have to wait for it to be on rotation man am I getting lucky Hanzo again man so I can't wait actually to go to the event tab and then see how many Hanzos I got because this just means I'm getting more and more rewards so let's go ahead and see if we can level them up Bam, let's rank them. Oh, and the cool thing about this is when you do do this, it, it it increases his rank every single time just by getting just that one. You know, once I get him to, to red, where this is where your character becomes useful because you could fully unleash the potential of his iconic weapon, then we're talking. But I don't see him anywhere. Oh my god, again? Whew, the luck is on fire. All right. But like I was saying, I am not seeing this guy anywhere in PvP. So I don't know if he's good for PvE. 
But as long as as far as PvP goes, I'm not really seeing this dude anywhere. I, I still use Susano. I don't know if he's been replaced by one of these other characters, and I don't know where they would belong into the like high end of the game. Because here's the thing, man, they're all too low. <laughs> Their ranks are nowhere near max. If I try to use any of these characters, unless they're they're absolutely broken, they're going to be useless for me, which is kind of like not not great to be honest. But from I feel like he he has the ability to frighten. So honestly, putting him with any other units that can frighten are going to be pretty cool to have little PVP teams that that just frighten you all over the place. So that that would be cool. He does more damage when you're frightened. The other character, Aponia, can knock you down. Ooh, that's nice. Uh, a random UR. Okay, let's see who we get. I'm hoping it's Oda. So like I was saying, uh, Aponia knocks you down. You know, Carrie Hilson style. And when you are knocked down, you take more damage for someone that is that has been knocked down. And kind of like Susano, without the teleportation, just bashes forward, knocks whoever's down that's on, on the way of whoever she wants to hit. And then everyone takes a little extra damage. So it sounds like, like a pretty broken unit to, to cause more damage to the enemy team. Which maybe is good for for that boss stage. For the resource stage. And like for AoE because you're literally everyone's going to be on the floor. And you're going to be doing more damage. And that's just going to accumulate. And yeah maybe for PvP as well. Because they are knocked down and I think it's like a half second stun. So she might be good, but I haven't seen her, which makes me think she's only good on paper and not in practice. That being said, I haven't really seen many new units. So like I feel like either the meta has been very solidified within PvP or it's just way too early for people to actually work on them other than, you know, Giga Whales. To get them up to their max potential like this. You know, all three rainbow colored, I don't know, fragments? I don't know. You know, just having someone all fully maxed out like that, you're just not going to see too much of that for these newer characters. So maybe that's not why, uh, maybe that's why they're not in PvP. Like uh, Prometheus here. I hear he's an amazing, I think it was a support, but whatever. I, I hear he's amazing, but he's useless. <laughs> Until you get him close to or at max. Which is the same way I feel about my Mar Marmaduke or Marduk. He was amazing and he still works out for me. And he's only, what is it, elite? Right? He's only like at the red stage. Not at the like silvery stage or the purpley max stage. So he's like way back. But he's still useful because if you have, what is it, less than 20% HP or something, he could one shot you. And a lot of times, there's some stubborn units out there that just don't want to get destroyed. And if, as long as your Marduk survives, because that's another thing, he becomes super squishy the higher up you go in levels. He's just so squishy, so he needs protection. So you really got to use him instead of as a tank. Because I was used to... Um, I used to just use him as a tank, and I got away with it for a while. Not at the higher levels, man. You got to put him in the back as if he's a warrior. And you just got to use him as a word that kind of has a lot of HP that can do crazy damage only if units are low at HP. So you want to put him in a team that has like a lot of AoE and that way he can finish them off with, with a big sort of bang. Or put some people out there that can do really strong like one target DPS type thing. Really hard shots. And if it doesn't quite kill somebody, Marduk will use his ult. Boom, jump on them, finish the job. The thing is, he does kind of work like, you know, like a warrior slash tank because once he does that attack, he'll be like at the front line. He'll be there to get hit, which isn't great. But as you can see, man, Oda Nobunaga, I'm working on him, trying to get him all the way to 500, which is going to take a long time, man, because so many of his things max out at 130 for the iconic weapon, which means that you need those red sort of what is it the red lion which you could only farm five a day max and you need two which means every two days you get plus five for his iconic weapon it's gonna take a while bro once you have to start using those those red iconic weapon upgrades but yeah so far man a pretty good haul let's see what we get here to finish things off not bad 
Lubu, like, subscribe, you know the deal.